Hello, this is Brian Garcia and welcome to the Cape Report for Thursday, March 4th. Here's today's hot lunch choice. The famous breakfast at noon, Jimmy Dean sausage, turkey bacon, hash browns, French toast sticks, and applesauce. Lewis Public Library will be having their fifth annual team job fair in March with a workshop on Zoom March 16th and a job fair on Saturday, March 20th. For more information, see Ms. Supley at the library. Register for the Bridge Walk honoring John Lewis. The event will take place at the Indian River Inlet Bridge on March 7th on Sunday, starting at 3 p.m. Limited space due to COVID regulations, so you need to register as soon as possible. Participation is free, and those who walk will receive a t-shirt and mask to wear during the event and to commemorate the event. For more information, see Dr. Simon. Now to Ayas and Amaya's Hidden Bit History. Today's Hidden History Fact is on film, where you're going to be talking about Spike Lee. Spike Lee is an American film director, producer, screenwriter, actor, and professor, most known for his award-winning films. Some films he's known for is Black Klansman, Inside Man, and He Got Game, just to name a few. Something really cool that Spike Lee majorly influenced was the red New York Yankee hats. In 1996, Spike Lee wanted a custom Yankee hat, so he contacted the distributor of MLB hats to make him a hat. They made him a red hat, which was significant since back in the day, no hats were made in any other color besides the team colors. So this level of personalization opened up a new opportunity for the market. These baseball caps became not only known as fan memorabilia, but fashion statements for all. If you're interested in joining Cape Unified Track and Field, please get in touch with Ms. Thorpe or Mr. Rydell via Schoology message. Practice starts on March 8th. March is theater in our school's month, so check out some interesting facts on the cafeteria TVs. Speaking of interesting, let's congratulate the BPA members who placed their state competitions. For the 50th edition of our school yearbook, we need your help. The yearbook staff would like to include the favorite movie, show, singer, and more of each grade. Please check Schoology for your grade survey and fill it out as soon as possible. Seniors, we need you to submit your votes for senior superlatives on the survey in Schoology. We also need your senior quote submission turned in immediately, otherwise you will not have a quote in the yearbook. Class favorites, superlatives, and quotes are all available to fill out as a Google form on the homepage in Schoology. Additionally, students and staff members are encouraged to submit school-appropriate pictures as well as pictures of your pets in the form of a Schoology message or email addressed to Mrs. Lewis. These will be featured in the yearbook. Please make all of your submissions within the next two weeks. Thank you for your contributions. Thank you for watching the CAPE Report. Let us know what is happening in your school's life, and it might just be a part of the show. Have a great day.